Hey guys, in this video I want to show you the electrical compartment of the K40 laser. In specific my K40 laser, as you may know I made a lot of little modifications um, to it and um, all those modifications need power. So I want to show you how I hooked everything up to make everything work without having millions of cables lying around. Um, as you may know, I added a thermometer um, to see what temperature the cooling uh, liquid has. I added a LED strip inside of the laser bed, which makes it easier to work when it's nicely lit. I added a air assist in form of an aquarium pump that blows air through the laser nozzle to blow away particles and smoke. So as a red dot laser diode, that helps aligning the laser to your working material. Sure, before opening this compartment I unplugged the laser from the power outlet, but due to several capacitors inside of the power supply there is a potential risk of getting an electrical shock. So be very very careful, especially when you don't know much about electrics and electronics so as I do. But for what I know is that the laser tube works with around 15,000 volts. That is 100% lethal when touching it, so I am very very careful not touching any of the high power circuits and components in here. It is very important that you ground your K40 laser in any way possible, not only over the ground terminal on your power outlet, but also over the screw you can see here in this picture. It grounds the actual laser tube, which in case of an error will arc and you want that energy to ground somewhere. So I hooked up a cable from the K40 chassis to a wall mounted radiator. As you can see this red cable, this is the high voltage line that goes to the laser tube or to a certain unpleasant depth. On the other side we have the main input and several outputs with in multiple voltages. In my case it is a 12 volt output to power the two stepper motors and a 5 volt output to power the main board that controls the system and makes the USB input understandable for the K40 laser's internal components. So this is the main board, there is not much to it, it's pretty small. There is your USB input, and there is the output or the input, the 5 volt input is, should be here I think. This is the output which goes to the power supply to control the laser and uh, this little ribbon cable here that's the one that goes to the actual stepper motors inside of the laser. There are also low power in and outputs for the test and activation buttons, the milliamp meter and the potentiometer that controls the laser output. Now what I did when I first got the laser, I wanted to install a backlit LCD thermometer. Therefore I needed 5 volt of power, what I grabbed straight from the 5 volt output that powers the main board. Also I hooked up a red dot laser to that port, so two sources that require very low current. As I don't know what current the power supply can handle, I decided to hook up the LED strip which also runs on 5 volts to an external power supply, what in my case is an old USB phone charger. I stripped the cables and hooked it up to the main 220 volts in Europe or 110 volts in the US input line. Same I did for the air pump. Now what I want to achieve here is that all the components start running when I power up the machine. On the back there are two power outlets that I used for the pump and the fan that also power on when turning on the main switch. This in my opinion is very helpful as you never want to run your laser without active cooling and as the K40 is not only one machine but a whole array of components, fans, pumps and motors, it sometimes risks that you forget to turn on the one or other thing. Also very important is to have some visual indication that the cooling pump is running, therefore I got me a flow stream indicator that is normally used in a computer water cooler, uh, so as a radiator that is powered by two fans. Both components I also bought in China over eBay for a very very cheap price. Again all the accessories I installed and showed in this video will be linked down below in the description. Okay, so this was it for this pretty short video today. I hope you enjoyed it anyways and um, if you do, um, please subscribe to the channel and ring this little bell and get notified when I upload some new and longer videos. I hope you enjoyed, until then, see ya!